Day two on Cyclone Carlos, which is located in the southwest Indian Ocean as of 3 a.m. UTC, February the 5th. It's got winds of around 65 miles an hour and a pressure of 987 millibars, but the two big sources of information differ greatly on that fact. 17.5 degrees south, 56.7 east is the current coordinates, and a pre-cyclone alert is in effect. What we expect of the storm over the next uh, five days is still somewhat unclear, but we expect that it could approach or perhaps even reach hurricane status briefly before making its closest approach to Mauritius and Reunion, before weakening and then heading towards the southwest where it could re-intensify off the coast of Madagascar on day four and five. Right now, uh, it's within 200 miles of Tromelin, Port Louis and St. Brandon, uh, 191 miles north-northwest of Mauritius itself, and a cyclone pre-alert is in effect for uh, Reunion. Uh, a stage 3 warning is in effect on the CDPS scale, meaning that significant damage is possible. This is what we expect over the course of the next 72 hours, what the storm's uh, likely to do. You can see they're briefly attaining hurricane status, possibly. And then there's Mauritius and how the storm will pass to the northwest. And then there's Reunion, uh, where the storm could possibly make a landfall. It will certainly, well almost certainly, pass closer to Reunion than it will to Mauritius. Well, let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures. Um, rather warm, 28 Celsius or thereabouts, maybe slightly less, but still enough to sustain a tropical cyclone. Uh, just a note there, a class 1 warning is also in effect for Mauritius, if that wasn't already said. And taking a look at the wind shear, there's a low pocket of wind shear around the storm right now. That's likely to rise a little bit as it moves towards the southwest, though it could decrease as the storm draws nearer. It isn't moving particularly quickly uh, southeast at four knots, to my understanding, is what it was um, at the last update. As said, it's a stage 3 cyclone. Conditions near the centre of the storm could be significant and damaging, particularly in the south and east of the storm, which happens to be where the storm will end up impacting Mauritius and Reunion the most. And again, a cyclone pre-alert is in effect for Reunion, a class 1 warning for Mauritius. Those warnings could be upgraded in due course. It's the best satellite imagery we've got at the moment from the floaters. Uh, obviously it's not animated in this part of the world, which is somewhat annoying to the storm trackers out there. Uh, but as you can see, the storm does not look like the hurricane that, it th that, that Reunion thinks that the storm is right now. They say 65 miles an hour, 10 minutes sustained, which equates to 75 miles an hour, 1 minute. Uh, we're going with 65, 1 minute sustained. Uh, and the average is from 96 to 2016, 22 depressions, 41 storms. So far we've got 2 and 1. Yep, not very many so far in the quietest start to a year since 1928 worldwide, and the seventh quietest start ever. Um, since 1900, which is a long time ago admittedly, and uh, observations weren't as good back then, uh, 31 is the low bar to beat from 1900. We've got on the board with this one so far, at least that's as far as name storms are concerned. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker at your service. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not watching us already there. Also on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text. And on Twitter, we're at Force 13, again all in text. Pretty simple, is it not? You can also find me, Fool 13, on Skype, F00L13 with extension 9094 on Discord. <laughs>